and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my dear friend and celebrity makeup artist, Misha. Hello. And today we are going to be creating a look. Actually, it's been requested and I feel like it's very trendy. Totally. People are doing it, people are talking about it. No makeup makeup. And as easy as that sounds to achieve, it's actually kind of involved. I would say so. Yeah. There's a lot of prep and people think it's a lot easier, but it's actually kind of, it can be tricky. Misha has done my makeup for tons of things and shoots and events and stuff like that. She's a pro, so she's gonna lead the way. Thank you. <laughs> so first, I always love to prep the skin really, really well before doing a no makeup makeup look because it is gonna be so subtle and clean. You want the skin to be as perfect as possible. So what is this that you're using, like a toner? Yeah, this is an exfoliating toner. Okay. Um, it's called P50. Okay. It's, um, it's a really, really amazing brand. I, I don't know if you're feeling it tingle a little, a little bit. bit. So after using the toner, um, I'm gonna use this really nice calming serum uh, by Dr. Stern. She is one of my absolute favorites. And her skincare is incredible. And this is gonna just like calm your skin a little bit from the P50. So after I use the calming serum, I'm just going to go over Emily's skin really, really lightly with a Biotherm Daytime Moisturizer. We'll link all the products below for you guys to make it easier. Misha keeps trying to like skip all these steps and not show you guys <laughs> like, you have to tell them what you're doing. Like, it's just lip balm, but yes, lip balm is very important, <laughs> um, especially for the daytime look. Because you know, you want your lips to feel so I'm just going to lightly um, go over the skin with some foundation um, just to kind of even out the skin tone a little bit. For daytime, I generally don't like to go heavy on the foundation. For a daytime vibe. But don't you think for this type of look, like are you picking a specific kind of foundation? Because aren't there some foundations that are more like full coverage or give like a matte feel? Yeah, I mean, I really also think that it's the way you apply it um, yeah. and how much you build it. Like right now, I'm just using a Maybelline Fit Me foundation, which I like. Um, it's really lightweight, it's very easy to build on if you want like a darker, or I'm sorry, a heavier look throughout the night. Um, you don't have to like take off your makeup and reapply it, you kind of just build on it. Yeah. Which I really like. So something I never leave home without is concealer. Um, and if you don't want to put foundation all over, you can just get away with concealer wherever you need it. So I feel like we should give backstory on our friendship and how it's. <laughs> yes, that was, she's nervously looking that at was me one like the funniest chair ever, actually. <laughs> so um, Misha and I, the first time I ever worked with Misha. We were shooting on the beach. That probably just gave it away, whatever. Someone could look it up. Anyway, we were doing a shoot together, and um, for whatever reason it may be, I was screaming like a maniac to my boyfriend at the time on the phone with him. And we were in an argument. So I'm screaming at my boyfriend at the time, like being very dramatic. I was also young. But anyway, everyone from the shoot is just like stunned by my dramaticness, and Misha literally comes. I don't think everyone no. really knew about what was going on. They did, maybe okay, they did. Maybe a few Maybe a few people did, but Misha was amazing because she just comes into my room and I feel like you were so blase. Why you were just like, okay, like, are you done? And like, I like with my boyfriend too, so like, it's all good. But like, should we just go? I'm like crying, like in my room, and I'm like, yeah, let's go. It's kind of like you were so real and so nice, and just like, yeah, like I like with my boyfriend too, but like, can we like go? It's like, yeah, yeah but like, there's <laughs> no reason for people to be so shocked when a people yeah. are arguing. I felt like that. Sure, all of you guys argue with your <laughs> significant, significant others. At times, at times. Yeah. yeah. So now I'm just gonna kind of set the concealer and the foundation with just like a translucent powder. I mean, you could really use any powder. It's Okay, go for it. Um, another fun fact about Misha, besides the fact that she's just a great friend to me, like the story I just told. Um, can you please tell people what you used to do before you worked as a makeup artist? Yeah, I worked on Wall Street. I'm very proud of it. Um, <laughs> I'm still friends with a lot of the people to this day. 
Uh, my former boss is like the coolest dude ever. But I feel like what's funny about it is like everyone in the fashion industry, I feel like is it's just so different like it from is. that world. Yeah. Like it's humorous. For sure. <laughs> You've it's, done both. It's so different. It's crazy. Next, before I go any further into the skin, um, is work on the brows. Emily has such a nice brow shape. I'm just gonna kind of go in. I really love this Maybelline uh, brown pencil. It's blonde or soft brown, but I think you can kind of use either. Um, I just kind of like give fresh strokes. Like it's, you never want to like press too hard in when you're, when you're doing brows because you don't want it to look like they're filled in. You just want to like gently brush stroke it. And I love to brush the brows like in between there. Mm -hmm because brows are very important and they do frame your face. Primer or like a cream shadow just kind of helps keep the powder shadow on longer. Um, or I use a concealer, which I also really like, so that's what I'm gonna do today your own makeup do you normally just like slap on some eyeshadow or like, no uh, I, what's your what's your everyday quick routine well i learned like putting concealer on the lid through youtube because now all i do is watch makeup tutorials on youtube too like i'm like an 11 year old girl on the internet <laughs> i actually did forget to do once i finished the brows was to set it um, i love this clear uh, clear mascara from maybelline for Brows. It sort of works really well as a brow gel. It's my favorite. Topi bronzer palette. I'm just kind of start with the crease first. Like editorials that you do. Um, do you, are you usually paying attention to what the makeup no. artist does? Not really, no. Because you're just yeah. conversing and you're, yeah. Like when we work together, I feel like I close my eyes and we're just like sitting there gossiping and talking yeah. the whole time and then I exactly. open them and I'm done. And I'm like, crap, I don't know what happened. And then I started getting into makeup from YouTube. So I've been modeling for 10 years and never even opened my That's eyes. That's kind of incredible. That's actually. insane. And now I'm obsessed. I mean, you really yeah. like so now I'm kind of just mixing uh, some colors from these two palettes. They're pretty, uh, they're these Maybelline um, City Mini palettes. I actually really like the colors. They have like some yeah. taupe, uh, purples, and brown too. Okay. Just very gently, and I like to tap my finger uh, with the brush, just you know, to avoid getting too much product on the eye. It's a lot easier to obviously build the shadow than to take it away. And I think the brush is also very important, especially for this step, because you want it to be as fluffy as possible um, and not leave any like, streaky marks or anything. So curling the lashes is obviously super duper important. It opens up the eyes. Yeah. Would you like to do it? Yeah. yeah. Which, this is the best curler. It is, it's, it's a good one. This is it's the Shui Mora. Yeah. times like these eyelashes right here have a life they're on they're going in like it could direction. be it could be also like the way you slept yeah that's crazy that often happens okay so then i am going to use this really light it's not too light it's like a medium brown um eyeliner just to kind of line your lash line just to give it a little bit of definition um, and i like to blend right away as soon as i as soon as I apply it, I just kind of smudge it into the lash line. This is like the worst part of yeah. when anyone ever does your makeup. Yeah. A lot of people hate this part where you kind of just, it's like your upper waterline but it makes the biggest difference. I mean, 
Look at it, it just it it opens up your eyes. And it, well, actually, if I do it myself, I just like do it like this. I'm not really doing anything. I make sure. No, you are actually. You know, it's getting in there. But I kind of start with the outer edge and then I just work my way in. But I you, you I usually will smudge as I go. So, so it's okay if it's kind of like yeah. And then like, you just take your finger and smudge it. I would just get get it in there and just kind of really blend it out. Am I messing up? No. When it comes to doing my own makeup, I don't use many brushes. I just use my finger and smudge. But that, that's a controversial topic because when I did that in one of my makeup tutorials, I used my fans for stuff, people were like, what are you doing? So, so far, like this is kind of the intensity of the eyeshadow and the liner and then we're just gonna go over it with a little bit of mascara. It's really important to start all the way in the root and wiggle up. Kind of graze your lashes instead of pressing hard and applying all of this product onto your lashes. That that's perfect. That looks great. A light matte bronzer, just a little bit around the face. I don't think you really need much contouring during the day. Daytime makeup is it's not really necessary. I'm just going to give you a little bit of flush. Flush can really change I love blush. how I you feel and it just... Yeah. I don't leave the house without concealer and blush. But normally, like for a daytime makeup, I like to either do like a little, like a balm of some sort or a lip stain or even like a lip gloss. I don't go nuts like lining the lips or doing anything like that. Mm -hmm. I think just a, you know, a pink that you like or a nude. Yeah. Super pretty. Mm -hmm. And that's your daytime look. Like this is that's my just, no makeup that's just makeup. a no makeup makeup. So this is the final oh. look. The no makeup makeup. Um, it's super clean, minimal, just enhancing your features. Yeah, I feel like that was pretty easy. Yeah, super easy. All right, you guys, thank you to Misha for showing us how to do no makeup makeup. That was easy and definitely doable on your side. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. We have more videos coming your way and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.